Hello, Professor Bright here. Welcome back to House of Many Doors, where last episode, we made our way to the Mousalon River, and also kind of uh, may have condemned an immortal to eternal torment by a machine of his own making. You know, as one does. Today, we want to see about this fallen city of the ancient Mycenae, because I am curious. Zhang Basho said that a lady was supposed to be basically entombed there. Well, don't know about entombed, but she was there, and then the city fell, so we're thinking she's dead. Except she showed up in the Mycenae's subconscious, so, excuse me, gotta go kill a tree real quick, thank you. But yes, I'm curious. Of course, we have to actually find the place, which will be its own challenge. And worry about, well, this. Uh, well, hmm. Oh dear. An intemperate vampire. The Scorpiopede's hull is rusting and battered, scrawled with graffiti proclaiming allegiance to Lord Dracul. Its tail gun rises and sends a missile streaking towards you, though it blows up harmlessly a hundred feet short. We are the children of our desires, says a tired voice on the radio. My hunger is great, greater than you can conceive. Yeah, sure, whatever. I haven't killed dozens of you yet. The Abstemiae have sent me. Make peace with your gods. The voice on the radio shrieks in terror, then cuts out. Yeah. A little tougher than I would have liked. Um. Oh, I have fewer gunners than I thought I did. Well, shit. Um. Do me a favor. Kill their gunners quickly. Actually, it might be better to send over... Uh, uh, don't like this. Like this less now that I know my uh, problems. Okay, okay. How dare you. Genevieve, get over there. And the Sonic, get over there. Anybody? Okay. Okay, we're mostly still alive. Um, of course it's the fungus cannon, the one I don't actually... It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. With luck, this'll... Could one of these things hit somebody? Nope. Nicholas, get out of there. Christ. Okay. Okay, so, first of all, you help me take that cannon out. You help me kill as many of these people as I can. And you destroy them. Okay. Uh, they're mostly hitting down there. Sandy, move there. Uh, it's not going so great. Um... Well, try to make this magic happen. Kill him. Kill him quickly. Yes! Okay, still alive. Your last missile hits something vital, and the Scorpiopede balloons and explodes in a molten hot shower of shards. All that's left is a shattered, burning wreck. A pillar of flame staggers from the wreck, the vampire twisting and charring in its final moments. It falls to its knees, then flat on its face. You live to fight again. Ooh. You pick among the blackened remains. Surely something survived. Okay, bottle darkness. Nice. The pale hand amongst the wreckage could have just been another corpse until you realize that it's twitching. You free from the rubble a dazed and wounded member of the enemy crew, somehow and despite everything, alive. Yeah, first things first, turn on that heart light. I need that. For not dying. Yay. Okay. You know, assuming the worst, we might just go to Murmur Hold. But that was a vaguely interesting point, as I recall. How's everybody doing? Not too great. Good. Great. And actually, 
Well, I'll have to wait till I get to a port first. Hmm? Nope. Kind of just hoping Sandy discovers, you know, the city. Yes, the city of Chaga. Or Calram, I suppose, although I feel like that was. Hmm. That was supposed to be the east. Been too long. I am not sure where exactly that is anymore. East being east relative to the city of Keys, of course. Hmm. It's an awful far ways north. Hmm. Can't help but feel like Sandy is failing us. That's almost certain at this point, but oh well. Oh well, say lovey. Motherfucker. Guile? Yay. Good. That worked, at least. Yeah, I'm just gonna ignore that. We might be anxious, but overall, we're fine. It's okay. We're okay. Mostly okay. Oh, was the Lord of Crows up this way? Aw. Oh. Should've visited them. Had I been thinking at the time. Uh, yeah, guys, could you just not? There we go. Okay, okay. Gotta be slightly more cautious now. Yes. Oh, snow. Lovely. Hmm. Anybody else hearing that? Like a little scratching no I'll stop now, but... For a time, there was a scratching noise. It could have just been the journal taking time to uh, process, I suppose, but... Hmm. Well. North and Norther still. Um... A lonely castle on a cliff, a dark history, the details obscure. Enter the castle, there are steps chipped in the ice. You stroll through the wintry halls of Murmurhold. Empty portrait frames align the wall. An icy gale howls through glassless windows. Just on the edge of hearing, a susurration, a whisper of many voices. You press your ear against the nearest painfully cold wall, and the whispers become a chorus. You know with odd certainty that you're eavesdropping on conversations in other worlds, or many miles away, or that have not yet occurred. Keep listening. The muttering voices echo through your bones. There's so many of them, they threaten to drown you. One strand of conversation momentarily drowns out the others. A confession of murder, uttered while staring into a mirror. Whispers follow you back. There's something wrong with the wind here, you're sure of it. Oh, but I mean, look at this place. It just seems so lovely and inviting. Ow. I didn't... I did not deliberately do that, though. Dick move, game. Dick move. Also, I think there's something wrong back there. But, oh, what? One strand of conversation momentarily drowns out the others. A plot to kill the Prince of Founders' fire. Hash out over cards and cigars. Interesting, so this just gives me random... Intelligence, you say? Curious. Uh, before I do anything else, though, of course, I don't want to release anybody. Do you want to press gang that prisoner, though? Hi, need another gunner. Need multiple other gunners, actually. Eh, such as it is. Leave through, as opposed to the north. Might as well visit with the odd winter intrusion. We're in the area. That's not ideal. Um, okay, I need to not be here. Can you just stay down there, maybe? Or, you know, somewhere not near me? Nothing personal, I just, you know, don't really have the strength to fight. At all. 
enter this cottage. Hey, join our crew. Gunner, please. Thank you. I love having high spirit. It's kind of great. What to increase next, though? More esoterica? More esoterica. More occultism. Yes. Was that up to 83? Nope. Oh, hush with your terrified. Bah. Humbug. Boulder dash. Et cetera. Hmm. Before we get to the border of the world, which I kind of want to actually see if we can go as far north as possible. Oh. Hold on to that thought for me. Signal station null. Curious. First things first, though. The odd winter intrusion. I wonder if I can hand in that thing we got for getting to the bottom of two... Oh, no. We need three delving journals. Oh, well. Gather our news. A new client's been summoned to discuss investment opportunities. After they started weeping, they were assigned to the client pit. An executive has been fired for questioning Odd Winter. Of course. This is that kind of business. Oh. I thought for sure there were shops here. You know, just a little shop. Hey, Waif, how's things going? Good. Leaving to, well, the north, I suppose. I suppose after a fashion. North and east and easter still. To see about this signal station. Ah. You kids and you're weeping. Hmm. What if we went north, though? Hmm. Nothing interesting. We'll see how far north we can get, though. I am very curious. You know, I don't think I've ever stared down the well. For a reason. Huh. Well, I guess once you're able to propitiate a god for their blessing, can't really get more in their good graces. Was there... I think I'm just seeing things. Hello there. You're a radio tower. It would be great if you have some sort of mystery involved. Ah, perfect. A haphazard tower of revolving metal dishes and antennae, swaying and creaking in the blizzard. As your kinetopede pulls up outside, a heavy-coated, heavy-booted, heavy-set figure rushes out to meet you. Visitors, please, quick, come in, come in. We have cocoa and hot baths and television, but of course, you don't know about television yet, do you? Oh, you simply must come in. Enter the signal station. You walk into the atrium, stamping snow from your boots. It's still chilly even in here, but the heavyset man is already struggling out of his coat. It's rare to meet a fellow citizen of Keys out here. There's frost in his graying red hair. I'm a governor's man. There's still a few of us out here. You see, even after the funding was cut. Care to look around? What do you do here? Also, are you going to steal all my memories? Your experience of Governor's Men has been pretty one-note. Not entirely true. Entirely. They occasionally run around and, you know, just caused some type of problem. I'm pretty sure they were chasing monsters back in the Sea of Keys, but I haven't seen them for a while. Anyway, uh, what do you do around here? The best job in the world, or at least it would be if it still had all funding and, you know, if you weren't stuck out here. Let me show you what I mean. Uh, are you going to steal all my memories, though? No, we ran out of memory boxes last year. Besides, all that hush-hush patriotic state secret nonsense fades away a little once you've spent 20 years in the freezing arts end of nowhere with only sporadic communication with the motherland. He smiles, cracking the ice in his beard. Not that I'm bitter, of course. Uh, so yeah, who are you? Well, I had my memories confiscated when I first joined the service. The first thing I remember is them waking me up and telling me I was now Agent Paisley and that I'd be a faithful servant to the governor until I die. It was quite a morning. 
I bet. Show me around, please. His face blossoms into a smile as soon as you ask. A few other governor's men are wandering about purpose purposelessly. One waves and shouts, Hi, Paisley, as she skitters past in a rustling scuttle chair. But for the most part, the colossal building is as empty and silent as a ghoul's tomb. Your footsteps echo. We had a huge team here once. Most were transferred out years ago. He shows you the various facilities, the laboratory, the armory, the kitchen, the steam-powered hot baths. You note the damp stains and broken panels and rust. Finally, with the barely contained grin of a man who has been saving the best until last, he shows you into a huge hall of blinking lights and dials and strange machinery and dozens and dozens of black glass screens. What am I looking at? This doesn't look like any technology you've seen in the cities. We built this place to try to contact other worlds. It uses a tech that's classified outside Kennedy Yard, which is why we were stationed all the way out here. It didn't work, of course. Nothing can escape the house, not even messages. But we realized that some other worlds were sending out signals of their own. We couldn't reply, but we could receive. We learned more about other world culture in 20 years than Kennedy Yard managed in two centuries of interrogations. Paisley smiles bitterly. But it's expensive to run, and we were learning mostly about culture rather than occultism or technology or weapons. So the bean counters decided we weren't a good investment. How does it work? You never heard of anything like this. It's a fascinating project. Don't ask me, we have occultists and engineers who worry about that. Well, okay, fine. Well, what kind of messages are you receiving? Keep watching, friend. He fiddles with some dials and one of the largest screens bursts into life. It appears to be showing a hissing, buzzing, moving image of the blizzard outside. Hang on, just need to catch a signal. Aha! The blizzard resolves into a fuzzy image. A dead-eyed man sits on a wooden chair, alone in the center of his stone cell. His mouth is an open, bleeding wound. He's screaming. Hmm, it's usually more entertaining than this. He goes back to fiddling with the dial. The screaming, bleeding man is enveloped in a blizzard again, for a while. When he lifts, he is nowhere to be seen, and the screen shows a group of young men making jokes in a restaurant. An unseen audience laughs at every punchline. There we go. Television, it's called. Moving images beamed from thousands of worlds, filtering down here. He hits a button, and the screen turns black again. We used to watch it all the time, but it's expensive to run, and, you know, our budget's not what it used to be. I'll let you watch a bit more next time you visit. You will visit, won't you? Agent Paisley makes you some cocoa and sends you on your way. He also very seriously asks you not to tell any other governor's men about this. Huh. Interesting. So it's... Signal Station Null. There's no signal. Well, I, let me rephrase that. It can't transmit a signal, but it receives all those TV broadcasts from what I have to assume are those old CRT TVs. Huh. Cool stuff. Let's see what's out there, though. And by out there, I mean find the edge of all of this. Probably should have saved while I was there. I'm thinking about this. Oh well, too late. North and north are still. Until we inevitably starve and die. Well, don't starve, really. Just, you know, either get killed or run out of fuel and then the darkness takes us. And won't that be just the worst? Hmm. This north goes on for a while, it looks like. Well, I say that, but... Let's say that once, you know, we've made some progress. Ooh, book. Books. Oh. Oh, well. No books, sadly. Ah. Oh, there it is, isn't it? Let's see where the other corner is. Huh? Huh. Got out of that area pretty quickly. And there we are. Back to normal... dirt floors? Floors of questionable make. Hmm. Also, something to keep in mind, this is actually a, this is actually supposed to be someone's house. The house of the first mortal. 
Why would you live in a house like this, though? Also, why would you fragment yourself? I don't know, that's... Well, I suppose that one was just to avoid all the people who were looking for them. Including their mother. I wonder if their the mother of the first mortal is somewhere in all of this. Huh. And we gotta keep in mind that... Basically, that thing with Henry Delgado happened. And there was a reference to the garden. I wonder... Are they talking about the garden that Persephone is in? Huh. Well, worry about that in the future. Oh, can we go north yet? I'm betting no. Yep, that's a no. So we go west. As far west as we can. Till we find a corner. Gonna happen. Eventually. Might take me a long, long time, but I will find a corner of this place. I hope. Aha! Excellent. We found the first corner of the house. So, going south? Let's see if we discover any locations, and if we don't, well, we'll have at least establish the limits of the house, or at least one of the limits of the house. People? Oh. Eh, yeah, just a pub. And nothing useful there either. Huh. Say lovey. It occurs to me I might be risking getting trapped like we did, I want to say, two episodes ago? Hmm. Maybe we make our way to the Odd Winter Intrusion just to be safe. And then we can make the long, treacherous journey to the Chimeran Empire. Nope, 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 nope. There we are. Okay. It's all good. Still want to find Chaga, but eh, priorities. Priorities. Well, for the sake of it. Anything in there? Just a golem. Okay. Oh, great. Um. Yeah, just toss out the bones, I guess. I don't really have any use for them. I mean, I could throw them into my museum, but... Eh. Truth of the matter is, I probably won't. Hey, Viola, you got anything to say? Eh. Nothing useful. <laughs> oh well. Still extra graft. Useful. Just ignore the little banging and the crashing noises. Nope, nothing. More bones, though. More stuff to weigh me down. Great. The devil? Oh, okay, that's just a, another Kinetopede. Had me worried there for a moment. Hmm. I wonder... Hmm. Well, won't worry about anything right now. Actually, you know what? Let's worry right now. So do I have any of these delving journals, which I should have? Because I don't see them here. I see my box of happy memories, I see keys I have. But I don't see... Any, actually. No, 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 no. Hmm. I don't see any delving journals, which has me slightly worried. Slightly severely worried. Well, won't worry about it right now, I suppose. I suppose. Next episode, 
We head further east, I believe. East, well, to the Icicle Spine. Don't believe we've... If we have been there, I don't remember it. Yeah, remember it. Waste disposable? Eh. Oh, that's always good for a quick trip. And, of course, the Svadalfari yeah, Delve. And a mice in a free state. See what trouble we can cause there. And then on and on to attempt to destabilize the Chimera Empire, if we can. And from there, well, who knows? We will see. For now, though, thank you for your time. Note the like, comment, and subscribe buttons below. Use them responsibly. And I will see you all soon. Bye-bye.